right, John Riggs, Mother Morning Show, 25 minutes after the hour, y'all. The segment is being brought to you by America's Best. That's right. Your health is our priority, and America's Best contacts and eyeglasses stores are now open to safely serve your vision needs. It's not just a better deal. It's America's Best. Make sure you go check them out and tell them Ricky Smiley sent you. All right, y'all, we got your front page. Evel, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful Monday. I'm your girl, Evel Marcel, here giving you a quick look at your front page news. So a New York Times report revealed that President Trump did not pay any taxes in 10 of the past 15 years. And after he got elected, he only paid $750 in the year of 2016 and 17. The report showed that Trump owes $421 million in loans and debt that are mostly due within the next four years. And he took deduction on tons of personal expenses, including $70,000 in deduction for his haircuts. Trump, of course, has called this report fake news. Now, in other news, President Trump's former campaign manager, who was fired this summer, was hospitalized yesterday after a reported suicide attempt in his Florida home. Also on Saturday, Trump officially nominated Judge Amy Coney Barrett to replace late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Hearings will begin on October the 12th. And the first presidential debate between Trump and Biden will take place tomorrow, you guys. That's right, tomorrow night at 9 to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Man, also, Biden, protests Biden, continue. Man, you know what? Biden need to wear some Jordans. He wear a suit, but <laughs> have on some brand new J's. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Stacey Adams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, uh, Trump, Trump really? already, you know, of course, y'all know Trump going to have on some kitten heels. You know he going to wear, wear some kitten heels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Heels. But if Joe Biden go out there with a suit on and some Jordans, I'm telling y'all, man, that's going to do it something. Shut down. Going to shut it down. He's going to be comfortable. He's going to feel good about himself. He's going to have the winning spirit of Michael Jordan. And folks are <laughs> like, did y'all see Biden with them Jordans? I'm voting yeah. for his ass. He need to have I'm some hot shot bread elevens. Come on now. Oh, Lord. Come on now. Well, now. meanwhile... <laughs> Protests have continued across the U.S. over the exoneration of the cops involved in Breonna Taylor's death. A California woman was charged with attempted murder after she drove a car into a crowd of protesters. Also, an attorney for the Wisconsin police officer who shot Jacob Blake in the back seven times last month claims that he thought Blake was trying to kidnap one of his own children and flee the scene. And almost half of the U.S. are reporting increased numbers, new cases of COVID-19. Now, there is a little bit of good news. You can still keep making a TikTok videos, at least for now. So yesterday, a federal judge temporarily blocked Trump's uh, from banning the downloads of TikToks here in the United States. But the company has until November the 12th to find an American buyer or it will be banned altogether. All right. That was a quick look at your front page of news. For more, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show dot Rock Teasy Bo Sheezy. What's going down in sports? Oh, there you go. Five, <coughs> four, three, and three, two, two and one. And it, watch, you're going to come on as soon as he hit that. Like, watch, 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 watch. There it is. There yes. it is. There it is. <laughs> Right, bro, you did. We thank God. Up, God baby? did it. God did it. Go ahead, Rock. <laughs> what you got, Rock? <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about the NBA Finals. They finally set. Man, we got the Lakers versus the Heat. LeBron James is going to be going against his former team. No one had the Miami Heat in the finals, but they had themselves in there, man. That's what I'm talking about. And this could be a matchup problem. Bam, out of Bayou. Yo, that joker is nice, man. Be aware. Jimmy Butler going to do his thing. I'm excited about this series. NFL action over the weekend, man. A couple of games to talk about. Chicago Bears are 3-0, y'all. They 3-0 and they beat the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons blew a lead again. How you give up 20 points in the fourth quarter and don't even score none yourself? I don't know what's going on, man. Dallas Cowboys, they lose to the Seattle Seahawks. And uh, big game tonight, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Baltimore Ravens. Monday night football, it is going down. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, it's going to be a shootout. Get ready. I will be tuned in. That's what I got in sports right now. Hot spot right now with the